Interesting, second grade. So here's what I did. I looked at all of your different uh, sticky notes on the Collaborate board and I summed them up by making my own sticky note. The main topic is Black Widow Spiders. That seemed to be a really common thought that a lot of you had. We think the main topic is going to be Black Widow Spiders. Now we need to move on to step three. Read the text. This is going to help us know if we were right about the main topic being black widow spiders. So that's our next step. Let's go ahead and read our text now. Every time I come to a heading, I want you to read the heading with me. Follow along as I read, black widow spider. The black widow spider is one of the most poisonous and dangerous spiders in North America. They are usually identified by their black color and red marking on their abdomen. This red marking is usually shaped like an hourglass. A black widow spider begins to spin her web. So that's what's the, happening in the picture. All right, read the heading with me. What do they look like? The, black, the female black widow spider is darker and larger than the male. Where the female is usually dark black, the male is often dark brown and doesn't have as bright red of an hourglass shape on the abdomen. The female can grow to about one half an inch long body and one half inch leg span. The male black widow is typically around half the size of the female. I'm gonna take a look over here at the diagram and I see that there are some labels that are telling me the different body parts. So legs, and this is what the fangs must look like. And that's a really tough word, cephalothorax. That must be what that is, abdomen spinnerets. I'm gonna keep reading. All right, read the heading with me. How poisonous are they? All right, listen as I read. The black widow spider is the most poisonous spider in North America. The male and young black widows are generally not considered dangerous to humans. Upon getting bitten by a black widow, you should seek medical attention immediately. If you catch the spider, it will be helpful in identifying the type of spider and potential medical remedies. If you see a black widow, do not play with it. Tell your parents or your teacher immediately. And if I look back over here, it says black widow and then symptoms. So it looks like fangs, so there's two little dots there. Muscle cramps, abdominal pain, wow. And the caption says, knowing the symptoms of a black widow bite can help you get help quickly. All right, read the heading with me. Where do they live? The black widow spiders are found in warm regions all over the world. They are found in land areas with little grass, hollow logs, and stumps. The spiders are rarely found indoors, and, but may come into human houses on items brought inside. Indoors, the black widow spider prefers messy areas such as garages. The black widow spiders spin webs, which are mainly built near the ground level. The spiders hang upside down on the web once completed. Check it out, we have a map. So I see that there's a color red here and it says places where black widows can be found. So all of these red places here are places where you can find black widows. And I know from studying my maps and, and my state that we live in this little tiny place right here and that's Florida. So it looks like black widows can be found in Florida. All right, read the heading with me. Do they lay eggs? Let's find out. The female will lay hundreds of eggs at a time. The eggs sit in a cocoon spun by the mother until they hatch. When they hatch, they are on their own. Many do not survive. And it looks like we have a diagram over here to help us. It's a little hard to read, so let me zoom in. All right, let's read the diagram. Read the heading of the diagram with me. Life cycle of a spider, black widow. When the baby spiders hatch, they look just like their parents, except their color is much lighter. Often babies eat each other just after hatching. Let me follow the arrow to go to the next picture. Baby spiderlings leave the nest by crawling away or ballooning on thin strands of silk. Follow the arrow. It takes a black widow between three and 10 months to mature into an adult. The male and female mate in the spring. 
the female lays a, an egg or oh, a hundred or more eggs in the egg sac. Sometimes the female black widow eats her mate. And then it looks like it starts again. So she lays the eggs, the eggs hatch, they fly away, they become an adult, they have their eggs, then they hatch again, so over and over and over again. All right, let's not forget to look at the glossary. It's gonna tell us what some of the words mean. Cocoon, a covering made to protect some spiders' eggs before they hatch. Poisonous, likely to cause serious harm. And region, an area of the earth. All right, second grade, now we read the text. It's time for us to do step four of surveying. Step four is to check. We need to touch each section and think, is this section about the topic we decided? So let's think about our topic. We said the main topic is black widow spiders. So we need to go through each section and think, is this all about black widow spiders? Let's jump back into our text and ask ourselves, was this section about black widow spiders? Now, we've been sitting for a little while, and you know me, I like to get those bodies moving. So what I want you to do is I want you to stand up next to your computer if you're on a computer, or in your classroom if you're, if you're on the carpet. If the section was about black widow spiders, I want you to take your hands and I want you to crawl them up like a spider. If the section was not about black widow spiders, I want you to cross your arms like this and shake your head no. All right, let's practice. What are you gonna do if it's about black widow spiders? Great job, you're gonna crawl it up like this. Make sure your hands are not crawling up anyone else because that would not be fun. Crawl them just up like this. What are you gonna do if it's not about black widow spiders? Nice, you're gonna cross your arms and you're gonna shake your head. Okay, are you ready? Let's think about the first section where it said, how, what do they look like? Was that about black widow spiders? Lots of second grade hands are going like this. Great job. What about this section? How poisonous are they? Was this about black widow spiders? Lots of spiders crawling. Great job. What about this section? Where do they live? Was that about black widow spiders? Love those little crawling hands. Great job, last section. What about this section? Do they lay eggs? Was that about black widow spiders? Great job, my friends. Yes, that one was about black widow spiders too. Go ahead and sit back down. Put your spiders in your lap. So, was every section about the topic we picked, the black widow spiders? It was, wasn't it? So we were right. We're gonna put a check mark on our post-it note. The main topic is black widow spiders. And that's how surveying a text, looking over briefly before we get started, can help us know what the main topic is and can really help us get ready for reading a new text. All right, my friends, you know what time it is. It's independent reading time. Here is your job for today. First, you're gonna survey the text features of spooky spiders. This is a text that many of you brought home with you from school. If you didn't, it's okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I will take the text features and put them into the next few draw up slides so you can survey those text features, just like we did during our inquiry. Jot the main topic on a sticky note. If you don't have sticky notes at home, that's okay. You can do this work in your reader's notebook. Just jot the topic on your reader's notebook. Then you're going to read the article. Again, if you don't have it at home, then there will be a PDF after the draw out slides. Keep going, you'll find a PDF that you can read that is in the Nearpod. So read the article and check your main topic. If you're correct, place a check mark uh, either on the sticky note that you have or in your reader's notebook. Remember, you have to check your main topic by touching each section and thinking, is this about the topic I picked? Is this about the topic I picked? And if you can say yes to every section, you picked the right main topic. If you still have time left in your independent reading, pick your own independent reading book and try out this work. Can you figure out the main topic of your independent reading book? All right, readers, head off and have fun and don't forget to come back to this Nearpod so that you can reflect on your lesson. See you later.